A friend of mine has just had a baby and they've named her Sarah with a H. And she's asked me if I would do something that she can have with her name on it and also with some puppy dogs on. So I showed her some of the pictures of some of the puppy dogs I doodled before and she really liked them. So I'm going to incorporate that into this for her and put the little baby's name across the top. She wants it to be glittery, the name, so that's absolutely fine. I'm going to cut the name out with my Cricut and then I'm going to put the dogs underneath and I'll show you how I'm going to do that. It'll make a fabulous little picture. Well, I've cut the letters out now and they work really well. Now I want to make sure that I do put them into a straight line. All I'm going to do is measure down here six centimeters and you measure whatever you want to measure down and put them wherever you want and I think that they're going to look really cute at that level and then draw a very faint line across because I want to be able to rub that out a little bit later. I just want it there so I can see it. Yeah I can see that there and then I can add these on here. I want to space them out so I can do the drawing on them without any problem here because that's where each of the little drawings is going to go so i think that's fine and now what i'm going to use to stick them down with is some of this which is this glue on a reel i love this stuff that's all stuck on there now and that isn't going to go anywhere which is brilliant now all i want to do is make myself some space that i know is going where the actual picture is going to go again i'm going to be using very faint pencil lines going down there so I can see them and then I want to have a little bit of a space there like that and then each one of the little pups is going to be drawn inside. I know you probably can't see this but I can see it. There's a square there. Can you see the squares now? So each one of the ones I'm going to do I'm going to draw in there and I'm going to sketch them in first and then go over them with my marker pens and some coloured pens. And these are really easy to sketch. We want a little head here coming back round here for the uh, front of the head a little tongue that's gonna stick out like that there's a nose going there an eye going there ear there coming from that bit of the ear it'll go round there like that so that's the first one now I'm happy with that all I've got to do is go over that with my marker pens <laughs> And then fill the nose in black. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to draw the other little doggies in there. And then I'll show you what it all looks like before I start to colour them in. What I've done now is I've got all those drawn on there. I'm really happy with that. And what I want to do is put this background on. I wasn't going to use a background. I was just going to have it as the white card. But I thought that looked a bit boring and a bit plain. So I'm using this blue watercolour pen here to give it a bit of texture and a bit of colour. I'm trying to avoid going over the dogs. I don't want to go too much over the dogs because I want my other pens to go in but they are permanent marker pens the next ones and that way they will cover anyway so I'm not too worried. And This is a arctic blue that I'm using from the Arteza watercolour pens. I love these. All you need to do is dip them in a bit of water or use them. You can use them neat but then they come quite out a lot darker Look, I don't mind that. They're great for adding backgrounds and things. I'll just carry on. I'll pop this on like this all the way over and then I'll show you what I'm going to do to colour in the dogs. Little riffers. That's all dry. I think that has come out really nice. I love that background. It looks like the sky and I'm really pleased with it. Now what I'm going to be using are these. These are my Illustrator by Spectrum Noir pens. They're brush pens on one end and they are pinpoint pin point on the other end. So pointed ones, bullet tip on the other end. Now I'm not doing these in any particular natural colours. This one here, he is going to be in like yellowy colours. You can blend these as well. They blend lovely. Doing a light colour to start with and then I'll be going over it with a brighter colour. And if you want it darker anywhere, like for here, go over it again once it's done. It'll go dark. There he goes. He's a little cutie. Now I'm going to use the uh, light yellow. Then I'm going to have a little bit of orange or a nectarine orange just so he stands out a little bit more if you want to use a blender on him you can you can just go over them and soften that little line that you've put in there we go I think he's a little cutie oh, and I'm happy with that and what I'm gonna do is finish off these and then I'll show you how I'm gonna finish it off before I give it to Dara's mum so easy and such a lovely little gift 
I've finished colouring those in now, I think they've come out quite cute. And what I'm going to do now is make them look a little bit more friendly. And I'm using a white marker here just to put in some bits here into their eyes. I think that gives it a really nice friendly look to the doggies. They're looking very good. And now I just want to give it a little bit more of a finish before I hand it over as a little gift. And the final thing I want to put on is these little gold bones that I've done in glitter. Cut these out on the Cricut as well. I will be attaching those using this glue roll or whatever it's called. I'm not really sure what it's called. Make sure there's no glue on it. And I'll be putting those in the corners. I think that these little bones finish it off really nicely. And just give that little extra to it. So that's finished now for Sarah. I love the way that's coming out. It's very unique, personalised, definitely made the right decision with putting the background on it rather than leaving it white. Simple, cute little doggies. What I'm going to do is, before I give this to Sarah's mum, I'm going to mount it onto some foam board to give it a bit of depth and a bit of stability. Then if she wants to, she can either go and have it framed or put it on the wall like this. Really simple. I'm going to cut this out. I'm marking on it first. And this foam board costs next to nothing. I will link it in the description below. Yeah, so it fits on there well. And I'm going to be using this glue, which is called Tack It Over, to stick this on. That way, it's not on here permanently. And if Sarah's mum wants to remove it from here, she can. And put it into a frame. Or if she wants to leave it on here, then she can. And it's really simple. So I put that much on. I then go over it with my finger. Let it dry. It's important to let it dry and then once it's dry you can put it on I'll show you and it'll tack and then if you want to take it off you can take it off this is brilliant this stuff I love it for this sort of thing when you've taken it off you can also put it back on again and it'll stick again I'll link it in the description along with everything else don't worry so you can get it, it goes ever such a long way lasts forever that's nice and dry didn't take long all I need to do is line this up here pop that down on there and that is going to stick onto that board perfectly and if you want to take it off you can it will lift up again now i'm going to trim this edge up here because i seem to have a little bit too much which is not a problem sharp knife up against your ruler and that's all nice and finished nice and solid now so if you wanted to you could stick that on a door or anywhere you wanted to in the room that's not going to go anywhere but if you want it to come off if you remove this gently off this tack it and re-tack it like that, it will just come away and you can then frame it into a different frame if you didn't want to use the foam board. Let me know in the comments what you think of that. I think it's really cute. Please boot that like button if you've not already done so. And remember to subscribe. Lots of different projects, not all art related ones. I build things, I make things, I recycle, I do oh, well, loads of things. Check out some of my other videos that are coming up next. Take care. Enjoy your crafting. Bye.